Assalamualaikum everyone, my name is Miska Jahan and today's video we're going to be talking about why modest fashion is expensive. So I'm making this video and I'll be posting it before my hijab line comes out. I just want to get rid of any misconceptions and I feel like it's a really good discussion that we can have and I definitely want to see your opinions in the comment section. Often seen, especially on many like modest fashion labels like the Instagram, the comment section, um, a lot of people are saying that um, everything that they sell is expensive and we're just going to talk about why. So the first thing I want to talk about is that modest fashion is only as expensive as you want it to be. For me personally, like I tend to have a more expensive taste and I'm pretty sure you guys do as well. However, again, it's only as expensive as you want it to be. Like if you want to invest in higher quality products, in a higher quality clothing, and you have the means to do so, like go for it like the amount you want to spend is completely up to you i find that a lot of like consumers people who are customers uh, or potential customers like to talk about the fact that certain abayas or dresses or hijabs are too expensive for them to buy and they'll often make a comment on it but i think that you know both sides need to have a better conversation as to why products need to be priced at a certain point and especially for me because i'm going to be starting my own hijab line it's not going to be like a lower price point either. I just think that there needs to be a bigger conversation. We already talked about how modest fashion is only as expensive as you want it to be. If you have a higher end taste, then yeah, it's gonna be expensive. Like for me too, like I have certain things that I wanna buy, but I don't really have it in my budget to do so. And that's why I like to save money and put away like a little budget for myself. So that way if I want to get something, I can. And that's pretty much how most people do it, right? But yeah, as a business woman, someone who's going to be launching pretty soon from this point of view it's very hard to offer a very low price point and be able to continue running a business like for me the hijabs that i make they're not cheaply made i'm not like sourcing it from another country and then just putting like a higher price on it to make a margin i'm actually like taking the time to like cut everything by hand order my own fabrics and everything like i've gone through like the whole design process and I know that a lot of brands do this as well, where like if they're making a certain style dress or outerwear, they'll source the fabrics, they'll hire the designers, they'll design it themselves, they'll pay for labor, they do the labor themselves, whatever process it is that they go through, like it takes time and it takes money. And in order to actually make money off of the work that you've put into your you know, product line, you have to have it at a certain price point. So for example, if I wanted to make and sell an abaya and it costs ten dollars per yard for a certain type of fabric which first of all if you want to buy a fabric and you're a small business and you're only looking to buy like a hundred yards of fabric that is a very like for a lot of these fabric suppliers that's a very low amount of fabric to purchase so they'll charge you a lot more than a company that buys thousands of yards right so let's say you're buying it at ten dollars a yard and it takes you two to three yards to make an abaya so let's say let's say it takes you three yards to put together an abaya and then you have to account for the labor when it comes to sewing and cutting the fabric and then you have to account for like packaging um shipping putting together a website like this all adds up right so if someone is looking to only pay thirty dollars for an abaya and I'm trying to sell to them and I try to meet their price, I'm operating at a negative cost of business right now. So the fabric alone costs me $30, right? And then let's assume that labor is like $10 per abaya. This is just like a random number I'm putting out there, right? So it's costing me $40 and then let's say like a dollar for packaging and then I put in a few dollars for the amount of money I'm putting into my marketing and just like keeping the website open, right? So $30 plus $10 and then like another $4, right? $44 to put this product together, right? And if I'm trying to make a decent amount of profits, I have to at least put like a profit margin of like 60 to 55%, which is actually like the industry standard. And let's say I'm not like a brand that just makes the product and sells it directly to um, consumers to customers and I want to sell it wholesale to an online retailer or an in-person retail like a physical retailer I have to pr price my product 
twice as much so that way i can actually make a profit when a wholesale buyer wants to buy a hundred dresses or a bias does that make sense so modest fashion has to be expensive because we don't have like these mega big brands out there like for me personally i'm not zara i don't have the resources or the means that zara has or forever 21 has you know they these businesses have been operating for quite a while and it's the reason why they can afford to sell you a dress at like $15 or $20 or even less. And yes, as for the brands that are selling, you know, scarves and dresses and everything at a very, very low price point, like I, I don't even know if we're going to see these brands within a few years. And this is, I'm not like trying to call anyone out. I'm just saying like, I'm just surprised as to how these brands are making money. Some of them have like venture funds, investors that are keeping them afloat so that way they can scale their business. But like the small like mom and pop sort of boutique shops, unless they're just like sourcing from like Alibaba in China, like I don't know how they'll be able to make money if they're actually like putting together and sewing everything themselves or hiring someone to do that for them. So yeah, that is pretty much all I have to say on this topic. I do think it's something that needs to be said because this is a comment that I've heard over and over again that modest fashion is expensive, but if you really understand what it costs to put together a garment or a really well-made scarf, that is just how the pricing system works. A business has to make money in order to operate as a business and as we all know most of them fail which is unfortunate but like cash flow is one of the most popular reasons why businesses fail so it's really important that they price themselves accordingly and as someone who's like gone to business school and actually taken a class that like i took a semester long class that focused just on pricing this is just how the market is so yeah that's all i have to say i definitely look forward to seeing what you guys have to say as well in the comment section and i will see you guys next time Assalamu alaikum. Bye.